Skadesh, what one? Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topics, Futa Hype, Confront Peace for Locking Off, Boombox Fridays, Jada Kingdom Address, Haitian Doll, Shensia Blast Magazine Company for leaking her pick in the wrong way on magazine cover. Little Vibes say UTG debut album will address lack of girl songs in dance hall. And we're gonna review an official video call Heist It Up from President Mega and Suspense. Stay tuned! Yo! Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad, and we mad at Dan, everything we mad. So we are kick things off with a collaboration from a male and female artist called High Sea Top. President Mega and Suspense team up and drop this one right here. Me don't know if them two artists you know each other from long time, but the two of them they are ready for the collaboration, you know, when them hear this beat. I don't know if them build it before them hear the beat or what, but the chemistry on the song, I love it. You see me? Suspense, bad female artists, the people they might take on to her in this new one right here. And President Mega Atelar say, down pan your knees and high sit up. So you know that song you enough for the boring couple them. Give me a piece more of the tune. You're double jointed if you want me to invite you with me love. Yeah. Don't put your knees, baby, high sit Alright, so that song yeah, it sound good. I love the melody, the clarity, everything, the music video, very entertaining. Yes, people, so big up President Mega and Suspense on this new one called High Sea Top. So, people, if you don't like the new one yeah, from President Mega and Suspense, let me know in the comment section. I'm also gonna pin the link of the official music video in the comment section. And I'm also gonna share it in the description of this video. Yes, people, so a bad song, man, I like, love it, honestly. Okay, so Shensia is upset and she react after the cover on Numero Netherlands magazine published with her on it which was heavily photoshopped so the Jamaican singer contending that she didn't authorize the magazine to issue the stripped down photo showcasing her fully nude body some of y'all who see the photo might notice that Shensia, her upper body and waist in particular were clearly edited to look more angular and smaller so not only that then put out the fully nude photo of Shensia they also photoshop it so in response to all of that Shensia exact words right here saying I literally feel violated my whole privacy I have never showed that much skin on the net ever she went on saying in an Instagram post this is not my image or who I even portrayed to be. I did not approve that damn photo. I'm not even upset. I'm hurt, honestly. Well, I guess this is a learning situation for Shensia because she said that she don't give a F how big or small a magazine is. This will never happen to her again. Shensia continue her exact words saying, that's some bull ish and on top of it that edit is ish doesn't even look like me once i start feeling like i don't have control over my own career i will end it my integrity and my peace matters to me well since the cover photo has been pulled you know and um, i'm gonna share the link of the full article from dan salmag in the description of this video so after watching this vlog y'all can read more about it okay so the other day the police them running pan boombox fridays and lock it off we see several artists you know complain about the matter including general b 
Queen I Freak, just to name a few, it's like them did upset because the time was very early and a lot of artists didn't get to work. We see a lot of fans furious about the situation and this was a special edition of the Boombox Fridays show because Shani B and BBC One Extra Team, you know them fly down from the UK and they were at the event and it's like early out. We see the officers them come in and lock it off. Well, so far we see a lot of people are saying that, oh, you know, them are fight against the music. Them only have strength for artists and them type of things. Yeah, them now go out go fight crime. So, right here, Evil Footer Hype react to the situation because me know a lot of people did depend on the live or watch, you know. Yeah, man, that night was about to be one of the hottest night for Boombox Fridays. So, right here, Footer Hype say, them lock off official boombox Fridays, but me still outside. Why Jamaica government fight music so much? Well, we go through the comments on various platforms and a lot of people share the same view as Futa Hype right here. You know, and you know of a lot of shows were keeping in the same surrounding area and them never lock off at all. So a lot of people were wondering why them plan for boombox fridays and just pull the plug on the show like that okay so masika shared the good news with his fans after he received his billboard plaques for his album 438 yes people masika you know just celebrating success right here on instagram without a caption he posts this picture right here you know and we already feature on the show you know the plaque for the collaboration he did with Bones MC, you know, called Big Body Benz. Yes, people, so Masika just put all of them together and just showing off some achievements right here, including the recent one from Billboard. So, big up Masika right here. You know, last year him dropped the album 438, and we expect bigger and better things from the artist because he's a bad writer, you see me, lyrically. Okay, so moving along the next topic right here, as I mentioned before, Little Vibes and Little Addy set to drop new album and in a recent interview with Dancehall Mag, Little Vibes says UTG debut album will address lack of girl songs in Dancehall. So I guess, you know, them are like father, like son. You see, because when Vibes Cartel just about south, we see him drop crazy amount of girl tune for the ladies girl song pan top of girls it's like you could have a whole segment with vibes cartel songs for the ladies you see it up to now not saying that vibes cartel now do song for the ladies but but then when vibes cartel just have us it's like him have the ladies and from him have that him have everybody remember you know recently of lately we not really see no artists a drop a bag of songs for the ladies. You see me, Vibes Cartel drop one with Chanel Muir the other day and a couple other girl songs. You see me, but recently we not get as much. Mostly a chopping on them things that the man them a sing about now. So let's get into the article right here from Dancehall Mag. You know, as it states, the sons of Dancehall star Vibes Cartel are steadily putting in the work with hopes of cementing their names in the fraternity like their father. Little Vibes, who recently celebrated his 19th birthday as well as Little Addy age 17, are gearing up to release their debut album, Team Different. Yes, people, that is the name of the album. This will be their first joint project under the Uptown Gaza Records label, which they both independently produce yes people so on a look out for this album little vibes mentioned that it was just the tip of the iceberg for what promises to be an album dedicated to their female fans so all of the female fans on a look out little vibes little addy ready for drop this so after nba young boy remix skilly bang song wap wap we see skilly bang react to it you know and it's like him ask him fans who are the biggest song right now from out of jamaica we are going internationally Yes, people, so we see Skilly Bang right here, you know, just post a simple question sign with a video of 
someone, a fan, you know, asking who are the biggest song right now. So people, it's like Skilly Bang, see how the street a react over him, wap wap song. And at first, we see some people are say, a fool in his Skilly Bang singing that song, you know, them not like it and all of that. So I guess Skilly Bang right now, just getting back at his critiques surrounding this song right here. Wap wap. But now like the song, it have a fun vibes to it, you know, anyway it play and the selectors them just turned on that wap wap part. You hear the crowd, the whole place, anywhere the song play, me I tell you, me see the reaction. It's like the crowd know the song word for word and some people, even if them don't know the song, them know that wap wap part, them know when they say that. You see it, so Skilly Bang right here, just a react to the whole thing what going across the world. Because remember just what the Skilly Bang performed the song over UK and their feedback, the response was a massive one in a good way. You see me? Yeah man, so big up Skilly Bang on that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this video right here with Jada Kingdom. You know, it's like she address a little thing was going between her and Asian Brat. You know, Asian Doll is like they were friends, but it's like something went down and Jada Kingdom not like it. So she just has speak her mind right here. Talk, they've been talking to me about this girl. Been. I said, Asian, why are we why are you walking around in um New York? Chains on, Birkin, and you don't have a and you don't have a gun or nothing, no security. I'm a female. They're not gonna do nothing to me. You know how dumb as fuck you sound? Like, do you know how dumb you sound? And I got proof for that, because everybody was in the room when you said that. High as fuck. Like, just saying anything. Then you want to say something about, I'm going to be here Wednesday. Bitch, come now. I've been said, I've been, 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 fucking been. Said, let's fight. For months ago, I have the messages still, and you ignored them. Now you want to bring this shit to the media? Is the fucking media then. How one thing will bumble clap me, and you've been in this house. And you know what's in this house. <laughs> you've been in this house. You, you, you basically live here at one fucking point. We want to talk about, I'm going to pull up to Miami. Pulling up on him is pulling up on me, period. Because you're fucking wrong. He said you're not DOA and that's just it. What's all this fucking extra shit? Like, just My chill. Thing. How you drop oh. Polo G manager for... Huh? What? Bro. Bro, <laughs> this is too much. This is too I'm much. I'm sober as fuck. I'm not fucking high. I'm sober as fuck. I'm not high. I'm not drunk. I'm not none of that. I've been sober for two fucking months, literally since New York. I've done with all that extra shit. I ask my friends. I'm, I'm been. Because I see what it's doing to Shorty now. I'd rather not. This club hopping and, and, and media pop, that all this extra shit can fucking stay. The fans gonna be fans at the end of the day. One thing about them fucking fans, they're going to fucking, they're going to fucking um ride. They're gonna do what they're supposed to do. Don't let it get the best of you. It can't get the best of me. It can't get the best of fucking me. Cause anybody can make things look <laughs> any type of fucking way. Bad to bad, my name the pan house. My, my name is on a house. I don't have to cap down nothing. I don't have to do a that house. A house or houses. Oh. Damn, I'm sorry. Two, one. <laughs> what fuck, are you doing? I'm sorry. Two fucking houses. What are you yes, doing? Yes, thank you. I'm ooh, cause I'm I'm not a show off. I don't brag. I don't do all that extra shit. We I don't. don't do I don't. Need extra damn, extra Carl, I love you. Damn, Carl, I love you. We don't this, need to do all that. When Juggy got bro. booked, they saying I didn't. I wasn't there for you, bro. This bitch is mad friendly, cause everywhere I go, she's like, and you know what's crazy? I'm the friend. I'm not gonna leave her by herself. So I'm I'm gonna run around with her. But at one time it was getting mad, fucking annoying. I'm here. Oh, it's Sway Lee networking. Name Sway Lee been in my DM since 2019. I showed her to her. I don't give a fuck about Sway Lee. I don't give a fuck about Lil TJ that she was fucking that's friends with Dougie too. Like I don't friend hop. I don't do all that extra fucking shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't clout chase. I don't have to be in this fucking room. I'm here in this room because of you. Because I'm a real friend to fucking you. I don't give a fuck about the the Drakes or whatever. They've been in my DM since time. I don't give a fuck about none of that extra shit. I'm here because of fucking you. Like literally, Jada, come with me. Oh, oh, Jada, come to, bro. Even when we was, even when it was time to beat a bitch ass, I'm the first call. Period. Cause she know, Asian don't what. Fight who, be who, where, how. I'm being so fucking dead ass. Cause she said she's gonna come to Miami. She's mm -hmm. pulling up on me though. How? <laughs>
When I been wanting to pull up on you two months ago and you ducked, basically, didn't respond. I'm upset. Yes, I am upset. And I can't fake that I'm not upset because I really fucked with this girl. And Kyle knows many fucking times. Let me not even go there. Kyle knows. I really fuck with this girl. She didn't, if I was, she didn't fuck with me, though. She didn't fuck with me, though. And there was so much things behind the scenes that I didn't even want to talk about. Because I put it aside, I'm like, you know what? She just drunk right now. It's all right. It's cool. I'm all right. People going to entertain it because, you know, they love the look of the, the messiness and the extra shit. But they know she wrong. Like, she need to fucking chill. Everybody told me. Popcorn told me. Squid told me. Um, two, two female artists out here told me. One of her friends told me. Fucking, ah, uh, you told me. <laughs> Bro, I don't You told me. I've been And you people. know what she said to me? That, that I can't forget the night that she wanted to do the interview with the Bubba, the Bubba, the Bubba dude, what's his name? The Bubba dude. Taylor comes here, it's going to blow up. It's going to get a million views in less than I, I said, bro, go do your thing, bro. It's your interview. I've done been to four, I've done did three of her videos. I invited this bitch to two video shoots for me. She never came. I came to, trust me, I could pull up the videos that I've been to. I've been to none of that shit video shoot. I've been to that new song she did Um, just now. I've been to that video shoot. Yes, she ain't never come to none of my video shoots. I've been to her shows. All of, so I've been to so many fucking shows for this bitch. She ain't never came to none of my fucking shows. Never supported me like how I supported her. And that's just that. And that's fucking facts. And that's just it. Fucking, um, what's the, what's the call it? The, the, she only been to my show in New York. Once because she had a show a day before that. So by coincidence, she came to my show. Literally, the, 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 the first show I had at the top of the year. I, I did, I you remember, you, Tati I was there. Everybody you, was fucking there. At the end and of the that's day, just that. had huh? to sit in the car for what, five hours all the way to, to where, where was that show? That show with her, the, the outer door show. Yeah, that's, trust me. That's yeah. Not even, that's she not had, even, that's had, not even, she, um... She had to sit in no car for five hours to go to a show, though. She JFK For me, ever. Yeah. She never had to, exactly. I drove five hours to show. I, listen, I, I, I would literally fly in for a bitch show. This <laughs> bitch not doing none of that extra shit. And I'm being dead ass. All you fans, go suck a bulla. I go near my dog. I'm gonna give a fuck. Because upsetting me is one fucking thing. Upsetting me is one fucking thing. When I give a fucking shit, I just nuts. This bitch came into my fucking DMs, said she's pulling up on me and all this extra shit. And she told Nas she knows where we lay, lay our head at. Like, what? <laughs> like, how? Make it make fucking sense. All this extra shit. Just, all you should have just said, ah, I'm not deal away and suck it the fuck up. Suck it up. Go sit fucking down. You can't go to every fucking city trying to claim every shit. Where you gonna go? Where, 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 where next? You was literally just planning to go to London to take over London with Russ and all of them. That didn't fucking work out because you don't get your passport yet. Now you in fucking New York sucking mad fucking dick. Like, sit down. You look thotty, bro. Doing an interview with all these random little boys touching you, squeezing your breast as a friend at the time. That shit, I felt disappointed. You wearing a, a shirt that says, Scree, Scrappy. Scrappy been locked up for 10 years. You don't know, dude. You're a dick sucker. <laughs> Stop. I hate it because I was a real friend to this bitch, and she, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing how you go from Queen Vaughn to Queen of Drill. Pick a side. Bro. You gonna come to this house? You sure? My house? Right here? You sure? Huh? You sure? No, I'm, you sure? No, I'm asking her if she's fucking sure. Sure, guys. Everybody, everybody know. Like, oh. Hey, 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 hold on. Huh? This, make this. it make fucking sense. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to defend who defends me. Because I just know Nas. And he's been defending me the first day since I met him. This bitch never defended me yet. But when it's time to go on, like, fighting bitches and whatever, she called me, though. Her interviews, her shows, everything. I'm there, though. But she never been to none of mine, though. That's a friend. That's a real fucking support. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm not even going to talk about all this extra shit bitch being here. I done. She going to talk about, oh, she put food in niggas mouth. You never put no food in this nigga mouth. You're lying. If anything, we put food in your fucking mouth. Went grocery shopping, cooked for your ass. You couldn't get a hotel. You were staying here. So how the fuck you going to talk about, oh, we broke, we this, we fucking that. Bro, you was on your fucking face. You asked, ooh, I don't want to do that because I'm not, ooh. Certain things I'm not going to say, but let me fucking tell you. This, 
I don't no. like that. I don't no. like that. Because he Cause never had to come. Because he never had to come on the media screaming and do all that extra shit. Because he fucking know.